Hello, here is a bonus screencast. This is not an exercise, but some kind of tutorial or something, I don't know. Uh, that shows you two things. One of them is how to award points to the people, the person liking a piece of content. And not only the person uh, who wrote the content being liked. And more importantly, this also shows an example of how to debug rules. Uh, because sometimes rules is uh, tricky to uh, debug. And Well, rules does strange things. Some, well things that are perceived as strange. I so far haven't seen rules actually doing doing any errors and I've been doing using rules for quite weird stuff uh, but sometimes uh, data is not available or uh, data is different uh, from what you expect and things like that. Anyways, uh, I was going to add uh, um, an action for awarding points to the person liking a piece of content and now I went to the wrong place. I was going to the reaction rules and I here have the uh, Drupal points for being liked. If I edit this, you might think that is pretty easy to add points to the liking user. I just add a new action here. I have the so, uh, content has been liked. So add action and I award Drupal points to the flagging user. Flagging user gets say one point. Save. Um, and then if I like this, reload to watch the output from this, it says test2 has 21 points, the user root, that is me, now has Drupal points, nothing here. Um, so something is wrong. Uh, when things go like this, I my first step is to go into configuration, workflow, rules and settings here and say that I want to uh, have the debugging information printed out on, on the page. Now this didn't really work now because I uh, we don't get new page loads when I click this flag. So if I like again, I should get output here, but I don't because I have this fancy Ajax load thingy uh, or JavaScript, I guess. Um, and I could, well, this could be changed in the flag configuration flag and then uh, change this flag so it has a regular link instead. Let's actually do that so I can show you the output. Uh, bum, 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 like, edit, scroll down, let's have a normal link, submit. Okay, so I stop liking this, I'll get a new page load and I get the rules evaluation log here that says, well, uh, explains what's going on here. And it's now when I like it that something goes uh, wrong. So let's see here. Down here somewhere we have red text uh, saying that something here is wrong. Uh, the variable or parameter input 1 is empty somewhere in the Drupal uh, award Drupal points thing. And this is, well, this is the action data calc, calculated data value. That doesn't work the way it should. And if I didn't have this rules uh, debug message, I could still go into reports and view recent log messages. That's actually what I did. I viewed these messages and, well, it gives me some kind of idea of what's going on and what's, what's not working. Let's close this one. And let's also close the, well, hide the debug information. And let's turn the like flag back to normal JavaScript toggle. So unsetting the changes I did now. And the next step when I discovered that uh, it's somewhere in this, uh, where am I? Workflow, rules, components, here, award Drupal points. Somewhere here, uh, things go wrong. Uh, it seems this calculates a value doesn't really work the way it should. If I edit this, I can have a look at what's, what's going on here. There are also links in the debug information that I m might have used instead of clicking around like this. Uh, account field user Drupal points plus the points provided as a parameter, and this goes wrong. Th this is like two two data points, two data objects that should be available, and something goes wrong. When that happens, uh, it is pretty useful to uh, use the debug action in rules. So I. Add a new action here 
and I debug a value and I'm gonna debug the account. I don't think the points here is, is the tricky thing because that's a very simple data. Uh, I suspect this account is, is the wrong thing. It, it's faulty somehow. So I debug this and try again. Uh, liking this, reload. Oh, that's a whole lot of, sh of things. Um, so let's see. We have here debugging the uh, each each user account that is sent into this Drupal uh, award Drupal points rule set or rule yeah rule component. This is the test two user and everything seems to be working fine for this test two user, so that's not interesting. Here's also the test two user, and here is user one. And this is how rules sees this uh, object. And you can see we don't have any fields on this user compared to this test2 user who has this field user Drupal points here. Uh, and that's, well, if you don't have that field, it's kind of normal that rules can't add um, uh, points to it. So what to do then? I, I suspect that this is because um, the flag module doesn't load the, the full user object for the flagging user, but does some kind of, of um, uh, low performance, well, uh, actually high performance load that just loads uh, some kind of wrapper or, or something for the user object. But we need the full user object to be able to set the, uh, the Drupal points. So what you could do then Yes, let's see. Here is the reaction rule Drupal points for being liked. Um, is to load this user object manually. I can add uh, uh, an action, and there is uh, an, an action called fetch entity by ID. And I fetch a user. Continue. What user do you want to fetch? Let's switch to data selection. I want to fetch the user that has the ID of the flagging user UID. It's kind of silly, loading the user that you already have, but it seems necessary in this case. Let's call this full user object flagger full. Save. Okay, uh, fetching this. Now I'm putting this action on top because I want to fetch it first and then uh, call the um, point awarding uh, component here. Um, it's this second one, uh, um, account award flagging user. Let's edit and change this. Instead of having flagging user, I want the flagger full object that I loaded here. And then it turns out that this works fine. Let's remove this uh, debug message. Delete that one. Reload this page. I like this now. Let's stop liking it. And let's like it again. Reload. And now the user root has uh, been awarded one point. That's me, the flagging user. So this is one way you could do it. Uh, you can debug rules configuration. Um, one of the things I did before uh, finding out that um, the user object wasn't fully loaded was that I suspect that the user object wasn't actually saved after being modified. So I added uh, here in, in the reaction rule for awarding Drupal points, I added an action that says save uh, an entity and then I save the flagging user. But that didn't work. Sometimes that's the case because uh, rules keeps track of what entities need saving when, the, when rules is done. And that's done at the end of the rules execution normally to save, uh, save uh, time and clock cycles. Uh, however, well, and, and, and sometimes when you say um, add, well, use an action called uh, add an item to a list or something, rules doesn't really catch that as, uh, an entire object, an entire entity has been changed when you added, say, taxonomy term to multiple value taxonomy term field or something. So you have to add that manually sometimes. But that wasn't the case now, so I did some other things and eventually I found the problem. Uh, I would probably say that this is a bug that should be reported to the flag module. 
um, but this is a workaround that uh, I could use for now. All right, that's it. Uh, see you in the next exercise. Bye.